the strike last night um, in Afghanistan. Uh, General Taylor just said that two high-profile targets were killed and one wounded. Uh, the initial announcements, I think, said one. Yep. Well, this was all the same strike. Was it a single strike? And can you explain any more about whether these individuals were directly involved in the Thursday bombing at Kabul airport? So it was, uh, without getting into too much tactical detail in, in terms of munitions used, uh, I would tell you it was a single mission. And uh, to, to uh, get the, these targets, uh, and as the assessments and information flowed over time, uh, we were able to recognize that another was, was killed as well. Uh, and, and, and one wounded. So, I mean, battle damage assessment, as you know, sometimes takes time. Information comes in. As we have more clarity, we want it to be transparent about that. But the planner facilitator description, does that mean they were involved directly in the Kabul airport attack? They were ISIS-K planners and facilitators. Uh, and that's enough reason there alone. I won't speak to the details of this, of these individuals. Uh, or what their specific roles might be. But as the general said, we uh, have the ability and the means to carry out over the horizon counterterrorism capabilities, and we're going to uh, we're going to defend ourselves. And I'd I like think I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask you another question about just about the airport situation at the moment. Yeah. Is it true that only U.S. passport holders are being allowed onto the airport now from, through the gates? Any uh, U.S. passport holder that uh, wants to get in can get in. Uh, and we are still uh, uh, if I'm wrong here, I don't think I'm wrong. Well, we are still uh, processing and getting on planes, uh, SIV applicants, as well as vulnerable Afghans. So they're being allowed onto the airport? That's, that's right. As far as I know, yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't think that's changed. Right. Hey, so can you give us the names of the two individuals killed in this strike? No, we, we're not going to release the names. Because? We're just not going to release the names. Um, and if I can just go back to Thursday, a suicide uh, bombing. Um, there appear to be images and reports from the ground that some of the Afghan civilians killed may have been shot by the Marines at the gate. At this point in time, since we're 48 hours, do you have any, any evidence that the Marines or any of the U.S. troops may have shot, um, injured, or wounded? We, we don't. We, we, we can't confirm that, and uh, we certainly are not in a position to deny it either. We are investigating this, and as we get more information that we can reliably communicate to you about this incident, we will. Uh, yeah, Tara.